בואי אליי קטנה קטנה, ושירי לי למנגינה. עוד יום יבוא ונשתה יחדיו לחיים. בעיר ציון היפה ירושלים, וכשהיום יבוא יונת העוף גבוה, ישוב הזמר אל ביתו, כולנו נזמר אותו. שבת שלום, שבת שלום, everybody. And yes, true, as the song says, one day in the holy city of Jerusalem, we will... Uh, Have a toast, we will drink to life in the kingdom of the Mashiach. May that day come soon and speedily in our days. Amen. Shabbat Shalom, but not just Shabbat Shalom. This Shabbat is known as the Great Shabbat or HaShabbat HaGadol. Why is it called that? It's called that because it is the Shabbat that immediately precedes Pesach. Pesach or Zman HaKhirutenu the time of our deliverance and of our freedom. Um, I'm excited because uh, Tuesday, just a couple of short days from now, I will be leaving and making my way uh, back to Jerusalem. Um, the two years of Corona broke a streak of seven consecutive years of traveling uh, Back to the land of promise. Everybody has a raggedy car in every video that I do, so it's going to be a part of the, uh, uh, the decor. I'm going to leave it in there and not start over. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the plague or the corona stopped uh, a streak of seven consecutive years of traveling uh, to the land. So I will be returning here in just a couple of short days, and I will be spending uh, Pesach there. Of course, as you know, The blocky is hot there right now with stabbings, shootings, X, Y, and Z. It's a sad situation, but it kind of is what it is. It's never really calm. You just go um, and let it do what it do. Um, I live on East 14th in Oakland, so uh, I'll be fine. Things work out. Um, so, yeah, um, I also have a tendency of making my way back at a crossing point between religious holidays of all three faiths. Uh, this time I pulled off the trifecta. I will be there during Ramadan for the Muslims, which is going on right now, Easter for Christianity, and of course, Pesach. So I wanted to come uh, before you very briefly um, to talk to you about freedom. What is true freedom? What is freedom from the standpoint of the Tanakh, of the Holy Writ? Freedom has morphed and become something Uh, of our own making. We've associated freedom more with our uh, self-determination and autonomy, being able to do uh, ultimately what we want to do, when we want to do it, uh, not being under the thumb of another group or another people group. On a level, I get that. I understand. Who would not want uh, to be in control of their own direction and their destiny? Who would not want to be uh, autonomous um, and not be... Uh, subjugated to any form of oppression by anyone. Well, that's not the freedom that the Torah is fo focusing on, okay? Autonomy, self-determination, and all of those things are byproducts and blessings, okay, uh, um, which are as a result of experiencing true freedom. You think the novel idea that everybody wants to be a king Okay, don't be triggered. Everybody wants to be a king, wants to be called a king. Everybody wants to declare how royal they are, okay? You think that's a novel and a new idea? No, not so much. See if this sounds familiar. In the book, Ma'aseh uh, Hashrichim, or the Acts of, the Deeds of the Sent Ones, we call it the Book of Acts. In chapter 1, verse 6, a little dialogue here, okay? Now, these are people speaking to the Mashiach before he ascends into heaven. It says in verse 6, Acts chapter 1, verse 6, Sha'alu oto han esafim. And the gathering, the people who had gathered, asks him, Adonainu, ha'im bazman azet ashiv et malchut li Israel? Lord, at this time, will you restore the kingdom to Israel? Hmm. 
not will you teach us how to keep our souls clean will you teach us how to keep our souls free um nothing about the spiritual man the requests are immediately about the standing of israel in the world as a power when will we be back on top again um and look in and of themselves the questions aren't necessarily terribly bad but notice the response in verse uh, 7 it says analahem and he answered yeshu answered them lo lachem ladati tim uzmanim shekava av esamchuto shelo it is not for you to know the season or the time that the father will return authority to you. It's not for you to know. Keep it moving. One more exchange. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, around verse 37. Okay. These are Vnei Zavdi, Vnei Zavdi, the sons of Zebedee, right? They approach Yeshua, and in verse um, 36, Yeshua asks this question. Shalotam, Yeshua, he asked them. Ma'atem rotsim she'eselem anchem. What what is it that you would want me to do for your sakes? Thirty-seven. Heshivlo, they answered him. Or heshivulo, they answered him. Ten lanu la shevet echad liyamincha veechad lishmolcha betiferet kedvodecha. Give to one of us to sit on your right hand and the other to sit on your left hand in the splendor of your glory. Verse 38, Amar lehem Yeshua, Yeshua says to them, Enchem yodim ma she'atem mevakshim. You don't know what it is that you asked. Okay? Ha'im yecholim atem lishtot et ha'kos she'ani shoteh? Are you able to drink from the cup that I will drink? Oh, Oh, lehitavel bat batvila sheani nitbal, or to be baptized with the baptism that I will be baptized with. Of course, you know how we are, full of zeal. Verse thirty-nine. Amrulo, they answered him, right? Anachnu yecholim, we are able. Hmm. Yeshiv lehem Yeshua. Yeshua said to them, et akos sheani shote tishtu, the cup that I you know, am drinking, you will drink. Uvat vila she'ani nitbal titablu. And of the baptism that I am being baptized with, you will be baptized as well. Ach lashevet leyimini oli smoli ein beyadi latet ela leasher huchan lahem. It is not for me to sit on my right hand or on my left hand. It's not for me to even give to you but it will be for those it has been prepared for. Brothers and sisters, plain and simple comment and admonition to you all in this Zman HaKhiroteinu, in the time of our freedom. Deliverance in the Torah, okay, is about deliverance from sin. Plain and simple. Deliverance from the thing that separates us from the Most High, Yud Hei, Wow, hey, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed be He, Yehovah. Since the fall of Adam HaKadmon, the first Adam, and the sin of the fall that created the wall of separation between us, redemption is about bringing us back to that Edenic state, to that Edenic relationship. Again, the walking, the voice of the Most High moving, through the garden in the cool of the day. Hey, Abba, how are you? Mashram Khan, it's good to see you, Abba. I love you so much. Imagine that environment, to be in his presence unfettered, with nothing to hide, nothing to fear, nothing uh, to be concealed. All is wide open. There is no sin. This is the liberation uh, this is a redemption that's called out in the Torah. Now, that autonomy, that self-determination and all of those blessings 
are a byproduct of obedience. Hear me well. That autonomy, self-determination, and all the associated blessings that come along with it are a byproduct of obedience, okay, and walking in the path. Captivity, baldness, okay, not me, it's just I cut it all down pretty low. <laughs> but baldness, uh, being, and when I say baldness, you know, I mean lacking, being without, uh, which happens to be kind of a, a wordplay there uh, in the Semitic languages. But being lacking, being without, being without standing, being without gravitas. Uh, being the tail and not the head, being the borrower and never the lender, uh, someone else's foot or knee on your neck, is as a result of not being in the will, okay? It's as a result of not being obedient. obedient. Um, it's as a result of departing from the path and departing from the covenant. It's nobody else's fault, no other people group's fault. Us and us alone, our forefathers and our forefathers alone. But we have the window and the opportunity to return to him. And when we do, when we walk in correct relationship, that self-determination, that autonomy, and all of the associated blessings will come with it. Remember the words of Yeshua the Mashiach, to seek first what? Malchut HaShemayim, okay? Seek first the kingdom of heaven, v'chol advarim ha'ele, all of these things will be added to you. Woe, woe to the brother and to the sister within our family. Woe to me if I seek deliverance from the symptom of my sins or seek deliverance from the symptoms of my disobedience, all right, and not deliverance from the sin or the disobedience. I hope that comes across. I hope that comes across and lands in the place that it should land, and that the ears that are out there to hear, that they would hear, and that the eyes that are out there to see will see. In this season, in this time of our freedom, remember how big the Pesach is. It walks hand in hand with Shabbat, okay? Shabbat is the first of our sacred assemblies that recall the exodus from Mitzrayim. And right now, in this time, the exodus of Mitzrayim, remembering the blood, the blood of the lamb, you know, Alha um, Mezuzot on the doorpost, and and Alha uh, Mashkof, and on the top of the lentil, okay? It is um, that blood that cleanses. It is that blood that redeems and that sets us free. It is that blood that gives us audience, okay, uh, and that has justified and sanctified us. Nothing else, not our acts, not any of these things. It is uh, the signature event of the Most High, the destruction of Egypt and the judgment on their would-be gods, and the blood of the Lamb that has given us that standing to walk in newness of life. But it's up to us to walk in the path and to obey Him in order to allow him to change us from glory to glory. Okay, this is the heart of what the gospel is. Uh, put away the sin in your life. Okay, check the house, right? For chametz, dikata chametz, all of this, these things, right, are symbolic of sin. This is a time to examine yourselves, uh, for me to examine myself, and put away the leaven in our lives so that we can hear and so that we can see uh, all that he has for us. So I'm going to get off of here and shut my mouth. I'm going to wish you Chag Pesach Sameach, okay? Mechol Alev, Mechol Neshama. And um, you will be seeing images coming real soon from uh, the land. I will, I will be moving around quite a bit, and I'm pondering getting uh, uh, some different uh, equipment maybe I can use to get some high-quality video and whatnot. Uh, but in a pinch, I'll use whatever I have, but I hope to take you on my trip in a way with me. All right. So until the next time, um, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom and Chag Pesach 
שמח. יאללה.